Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and we have... <laughs> this thing's really good. We have a couple new knives from Wii, starting off with a Brian Brown design, the Trogan. Uh, somewhat of a straight, or a, uh, yeah, straight clip point Tonto with a dual grind. Um, it has a hollow grind here, then a flat grind here. And I got to say, the flat grind has a nicely tapered Tonto area with a nice hollow grind here. Beautiful uh, point that drops down. So this thing isn't going to be like a lot of Tontos where you can't get to the tip. You can totally use it as a utility cutter. And then you do have a secondary tip. Not super pronounced, but you could definitely use it. And that might help also kind of trap materials just a little bit. Because when you're in this hollow area, you know, the thicker portion right here kind of holds back the material a little bit when you're slicing through things. Read ridiculously smooth fresh out i have not oiled it nothing this is so i can imagine after i oil it's even going to get better the detent you can hear it listen to that detent oh such a good detent now it has thumb stud action and then this fuller so you can go down low and get the fuller or you know, you can thumb flick it or reverse flick off the fuller or reverse flick off the thumb stud. That's what I like to do. Um, the titanium handles, by the way, 20 CV. Sorry, I should have said that. 20 CV blade steel. Um, and it has a titanium frame lock. And it does come in multiple different options. This one has the bronze, the bronze titanium. And then it's got like a polished bronze accents, as you can see titanium milled pocket clip and backspacer and then there's amazing micro milling on this handle that really feels good in the hand it, it has a nice feeling to it ergonomically it's comfortable you got a choke up spot um, you can reverse grip it for cutting straps and stuff pinch grips going to be super comfortable access to the lock bar decent it's not it's not horrible it's not the best but it's also not bad so no negative there um it's, it's pretty easy to get to. I always prefer them to knock it back so I can come from the side. But because they chamfered both sides, you know, it does work. And it's comfortable. So it's not uncomfortable to disengage. Very easy to get past the detent. And, man, is this thing. It's so smooth. I love the sound of that detent when it clicks in. And then you can see it's got a hidden lanyard post back here. Perfect way to do a lanyard. The, the clip looks really good. Oh, yeah, and the clip has the micro milling just like the handle. That's really, really nice. T8 hardware, titanium T8 hardware all the way around. Um, and no, you can't use it as a front. Well, I guess you can, but uh, <laughs> it's not meant to be a front flipper, guys. So don't, don't expect it to front flip. So, no, it's not a front flipper. You can do it with some wrist, but it's not a front flipper. Um, the geometry, though, it has a robust spine, but it's thin behind the edge. So it's going to be a nice, tough, yet slicey blade. Let's get to the next one. Now, the next one is a knife that already technically exists. This is just a new version of it, and that is the Esprit. Now, I got to say, the Sokoki by Civivi they have a lot of similarities. Why? Well, because this is a Rayla Conoco design, and so is this. So the, the Sokoki is um, a new Civivi model as well. Awesome, awesome Civivi. This is a knife that I've already done a full review on, but it was just a different handle material, and I love it. I love this knife. I thought this was a great knife. Um, it's a front flipper and thumb stud knife. Great action. Um, the, uh, the titanium in this case has the, what do they call it? Um, the flame anno, I think that's what they call it. Titanium hardware, but the screws are only in on one side. And then the other side, it's just the tops of them and they're polished over. So that's, um, so there's not extra hardware on that side. And the clip on this is inset with flat screws Lock bar access, you know, that was one of my complaints before. I wish they had better lock bar access. It's not uncomfortable, though. It's just, you know, I just prefer more access. It's okay, but, yeah, I prefer more access. The action is really, really good. 
super snappy. Not the strongest detent, but that's because it's thumb studs and front flipper action. So it's appropriate. It's very, very appropriate for what this is. And the sharpening tool and plunge grind is done very well. You can see where they started it, where they ended it, and they gave you a lot of life to sharpen off. 20 CV blade steel, and this beautiful, beautiful spear point, ah, drop point blade. I'm going to call it a drop point, but it's kind of got that balance between a drop point and a spear point that I love. And ergonomically, this thing works great. I already know because I've carried the Esprit many times, and it's a comfortable knife that slices very well. Great at cutting straps, great at utility cuts, opening things up. All the good stuff you want an EDC knife to do, this thing does do very well. Now let's talk about my complaints really quick. One, I normally don't like where they when they put stop pins right here because it prevents me from cutting in a choil or fixing any issues in the future if I chip the blade and I need to regrind it or something like that. Um, now this one's not so bad. It does look like you're going to get a lot of sharpenings out of it before it ever you know, even gets close. It looks like the stop pin hits in the thickest portion, which is down here. So I think you'll be fine. You just can't cut in your own choil if you want to. But, you know, in this case, I don't, I don't, you know, it'd be a long time until you need to. The next thing, like I said, I prefer a little bit more lock bar access. Not that big of a deal. And then the last thing, actually two more things. One, I wish... The jimping on the front flipper was a the finer jimping. I prefer the finer jimping. Don't get me wrong. The front, flipper, the front flipper works great. There's no issues with using it. I just prefer the finer jimping that wraps around it. Now, uh, is it going to make a big deal? No. This is, this is a very easy, comfortable front flipper to use. But I just prefer that. You know, the finer jimping that wraps all the way around. So when my finger is up here on the corner, I never slip off. Now, the next thing you know, is not a big deal, but I just want to say that with only single screws on one side, well, actually I do got to mention this instead of doing it from this side where this side is the show side. And somebody else brought this to my attention that the screws should have been on this side because this is the show side. You know, it doesn't have the clip spot, you know, because they don't have a reversible clip in this case. And why weren't the screws this way so that these little shiny dots were on this side? Wouldn't that look cleaner than doing the screws on this side? I don't know why they did it like that, but, you know, <laughs> it'd be better if they did do it the opposite way. Also, since there's only screws from one side, you do want to be careful. If you strip these out, you're kind of screwed. No pun intended. Because, you know, that if you strip it out, that's the only screw holding the scales together down here. There's two of them. So if you strip one out and you only have one left and you don't have nothing coming in from the other side. But anyways, um, not a big deal. Just make sure you're careful. They're T8, so you most likely won't strip them out. But when you're putting them back in, just make sure you don't cross thread them or anything like that. Um, love the backspacer with the hidden post again. Um, the backspacer matches the titanium scales. And yeah, it's a damn good looking knife. So both of these knives I, I like quite a bit. Um, this is definitely a, an amazing new addition. Uh, first, Brian Brown design, I think... I could be wrong. I think I've tried, though. I'm not 100% on that. If you guys know of one from the channel, let me know down in the comments. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Everything will be linked down in the description for you guys. Peace.